Why did you and your co-founders choose the community niche or industry? Is there any passion behind it or is there any other reason why this as opposed to another startup? That's a good question, actually. Um, so when Viraj and I we were both in college, we were at Georgia State University at the time. We recognized that it was very difficult for us to connect with all the organizations on campus, whatever clubs are out there. So the university had this very old, outdated system that kind of just lists all the clubs there, but we don't know who to reach out to when those clubs are active, when the timings, dates, and things like that are happening for the, or events for the clubs. We were like, man, this is frustrating. I, I wish there was a platform in which, and then mm -hmm. it hit us. We we're like, why don't we just build it if that doesn't exist? And that's kind of how our original goal started so that all the college organizations could get on board and students have direct access to all those organizations and events on campus. And that's kind of how we started. And eventually it, it, we started seeing the bigger vision and bigger picture as we started building this platform out. And we said, this platform can be catered to any community. It's not just mm -hmm. educational institutions and clubs. So that, that's kind of how our, our vision naturally took us into where we are today. Very cool. Yeah. I mean, it, it sounds like there's some passion behind it, which I think is important, right? And so yeah. you guys are going to scale it and grow it. It needs to be something you care about. So I think that's really cool. And then I want to shift to... And I'm curious in the audience, probably curious as well. What does it take to build that tech platform? I, I, you mentioned earlier that you have some dev work offshore. Like what is the process to putting together a really valuable piece of software, essentially, or an application? What does it take? There were a lot of failures and learned lessons over the past few years um, in building a tech business. It's one, you have to have the tech um background, well, at least one person on the team who should really, really understand tech, whether it's mobile apps, web apps, whether it's cryptocurrencies, whatever it is, you have mm -hmm. to really know your, your thing. And you also have to have a vision for building the product. So um, in the beginning, we started out with just an iOS device, iOS platform using Swift programming. And guess what? You cannot build Android with Swift. You cannot build a web app with Swift. So scaling was very difficult for us. So we would have to build everything else on a separate code base. And then now we have to manage two things and things start to get really expensive. So we said, you know what, let's scrap it all. This mm -hmm. is too much work. This is going to cost us too much. We're going to start over from scratch. So imagine after two years into this business of building something, we had to scrap everything and re restart earlier this year, like January of this year, we built everything again from scratch. So we used this new programming language called Flutter and Dart. So Flutter was developed by Google. And the beauty of Flutter is you can build iOS and Android simultaneously. And mm -hmm. you can also integrate Swift code into Flutter to also allocate for new iOS updates that are always Apple's always pushing out. And the beauty of that is you can also build web app using the same APIs you built on Android and iOS. So now you have one code base for three platforms simultaneously. This is super efficient and very good for those who are starting out in this, this programming space and who wants to build startups. I highly recommend using Flutter over React hmm. or React.js, React Native, whatever it is, Angular that people use. I recommend mm -hmm. And so what's your background from a tech or programming perspective? Are you a coder or a developer? Is that part of your background or is that mainly left to another founder currently on your team? Sure. Uh, so that's mostly me. Both founders, we have computer science background. We graduated with computer science uh, from university. Viraj pursued management afterwards. I also pursued management, but in, more specifically in product management. And that kind of took off in my corporate life as a product manager. And then as startups, it's very similar in the corporate as a product manager as you would run as a CEO for a startup. Same thing, mm -hmm. but you're building products at a company versus you're building mm -hmm. your own product for your own company. And with that technical background that I have, I constantly keep innovating. You know, now you have this chat GPT, open AI, all these cool little AI products launching. And this is the industry where you have to make use of all of that new technology and see how you can drive engagement for communities because no other platform is doing that today. And that's kind of where we also want to be in the forefront of AI for community management. That's kind of where our vision is taking us in, in this space. 